today I'm going to be showing you how to install web applications on your Mac. Um, what you're going to want to do is go to www.amp.info and download the latest version. Um, MAMP stands for Macintosh Apache MySQL PHP and is a local environment for testing but it should not be used for actual websites um, what we're then going to want to do is copy our files into the um, directory applications directory on your Mac um, and then we're going to want to make sure this application is running and um, that the servers are running whenever you want to access your test environment the servers are always going to need to be running okay so now let's get down to where you actually put your files if you go to mount in your applications folder which is where you should have installed it and and you go to your hk docs folder there should be a whole bunch of stuff in here if you want to um install web in that folder you just copy the contents of the wordpress zip file into here but as i want to have two wordpress installations i've got a folder here called slash screencast so that means i'm going to type in localhost slash screencast um and here is all my wordpress files once that's done what we're going to want to do next is we're going to go to our web browser and we're going to go to local host and then slash or co colon sorry on an 8000 888 and then for me I need to type in slash screencast because I installed it in a separate folder but if you just install the files in your uh, HK docs folder like right into there you can just type in localhost colon eta date but I'm gonna type in locals slash screen cast uh, and now I'm going to be taken to this screen now you may have heard m tutorials on YouTube where people say that you need to edit the WordPress config slash sample file but if you don't because if you go to this directory it will allow you to do it yourself so we're just going to hit create configuration file and then we're going to hit let go and then if you have the default installation you, you're just going to want to type in my sql and then root And then, if you're using um, MAMP, then you're always going to leave this as local host. Now, for the table prefix, if this is your first WordPress installation on MAMP, then you're going to want to leave that. But as this is my... Um, um, fifth installation as I don't want anything to cut us I'm just going to give it a number as WordPress 
WP underscore and then we'll give it one load of zeros to make sure it never clashes with an un another number. Um, and then we're going to hit run the install. Now, this is just what you'd see if you'd entered in the thing manually. So, as this is a test blog, I'm not really going to pay much attention t to what I write in here. Um, obviously, if this, this was a real blog, you'd want to, but if you're using um, Mambo, if you're using MAMP, then you're not going to want to do that. Um, and then we're just going to hit install WordPress. And then it's going to give us the username and password to log into the normal WordPress. So we're just going to copy that. And then we're just going to hit c copy one. And we're just going to go to localhost edit it slash screencast slash WP admin. And then we're going to want to go admin. And admin. You've now got an... Uh, um, test environment for testing things. People from the outside world won't be able to get into this local host because it's local. But you've essentially got WordPress installed on your own computer. So you could t tweak things the way you want to before your before the people that um view your real website see it um so we're just going to click view site just to pro prove that it actually does work and then we've got the standard wordpress blog thank you for watching this video and don't forget to view my blog for more tips blog.tom-rogers.com blog.tom-rogers.com and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you.